What's moving? What's shaking, y'all? Yeah, it's been a minute. I ain't upload nothing in, in a minute, y'all. I ain't rolled in a, in a minute. But anyways, y'all see my girl Nebula. She is a little bit dirty. But yo, happy 4th, y'all. Happy 4th. About to go for a little uh, quick 4th of July ride out real quick. Y'all see her? She ain't been... Shoot, I ain't start her up and It's been a while. It's been a while, y'all. Hopefully everything is all good. Hold on. Let's get her... Let's get a cold start popping. For checking out your boy. Happy Fourth of July, y'all. Happy Fourth. Me and Nebula just on a little, uh, just on a quick little ride, man. It's been a while. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I apologize. to bring you guys along for the little journey today just to cruise through the neighborhood smell the barbecues and it ain't even supposed to rain today or nothing it's supposed to be a beautiful day let's take a little quick little cruise to the, the old neighborhood little homie getting his willy on Nebula seemed like she got her act together today and so hopefully she stays that way subscribers know this neighborhood old crib right here Somebody got it in the air. I ain't talking about that green. I'm talking about I'm talking about some uh, some barbecue. Well, you see people that ain't paying attention. today man uh oh watch out Benji but I wanted to chop it up 
I was chopping it up a while uh, a few days ago to a guy I was just you know at the gas station I didn't have my bike or anything and he was just basically riding with with nothing no helmet no nothing you know what I'm saying so a young kid too hobby you know even after you get a motorcycle and stuff like that you definitely need gear I know a lot of folks don't want to you know I mean a lot of folks disagree but um man you should get your gear before you even get your bike before you even get a bike so as soon as you get your bike you can get your gear on and be safe immediately man accidents be happening at a lot of low speed accidents happen all the time especially yo as a beginner oh it's a little windy today as a beginner you know a lot of times you're gonna drop your bike beginner you know get it get, get some gear y'all helmet gloves and homie didn't even have like a helmet on so you know I was just thinking like damn hold on man I hope, the, hope my Tupac ain't too loud let me turn that down but you know man definitely get 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 a, get a helmet Get some gloves. He didn't have nothing. This kid had a, had a book bag on. A book bag, that's it. T-shirt and a book bag and some shorts. He had on sneakers, but that was pretty much it. And it's just like, man, you, I don't know if you guys can hear me because of this truck, but man, get a, get a helmet. Yo, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all checked them out before. Um, Motor vlogger Fast Lane D. Man, he, uh, I don't know when it happened, but just a couple days ago, he had um, put up a video. He, um, you know, he got hit by a car from the back. wasn't even, wasn't his fault or anything like that. Are we we gonna get to go? He was on the highway. He had his helmet on. He didn't have on no jacket or anything. But thank God he had a helmet on. Because having that helmet on, you know, it showed like 
he had like uh, scars or dents or whatever, you know, marks on his helmet. And if he didn't have no helmet on, he would have messed up. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he said he had a concussion. And that was with the helmet on. So just imagine without the helmet. stay on point like our sickles but yo it's a gorgeous day out here y'all it's nice it's a little bit of a breeze said it was like 12 miles an hour so that ain't crazy windy but hey and um I pray for all the um, the people right now in the Caribbean islands and stuff going um, going up against that crazy hurricane right now that, that, that they got going on. visible out here man in these streets get something that you know these cagers will be able to see you you know high vis something high visual you know type of study I was online earlier today and they say like like 45 I don't know it was a high percentage of accidents with motorcycles and all of that that the majority of them did not have on any gear that was visible to like these cagers but then they said like, I don't know, 33%, something like that, of accidents with, you know, don't, I don't know. All I do know is, I don't know the exact figure, shoot. But it was saying that, you know, the, um, there was too, wasn't too many accidents with people um, wearing high vis. If you get something that's high vis, you know, high yellow, orange, something, something that's high visible, check the tag and it got like this ISO number, like ISO 204, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> you know, it shows that it's like certified, like safety and high visual. I'm telling you, yo, something about being 
you know visible with these colors it does something to the eyes so it does make you visible out here in these streets I should go get me some fireworks even though I got fireworks from like from every year left over but today but for some reason the once a year I don't go get no fireworks it's supposed to be a great weather great weather for it but I am you know we I'm taking the family on out tonight for the uh, to watch the fireworks but I like to do a little something my damn self every now and then, you know. Yeah, I think I am going. I ain't going to do it now. I can't carry it. But I think I am going to do that. See, I know it's hot, yo. She jumped up to 199 temperature wise, yo. It's a nice white C8 Corvette up there. Nice white. just my all black and you know look good out here in these streets so you know I got the Dan Easy high vis vest or get you something that's you know a high vis leather or something that just look so damn good anyways man it's hot as the devil's nutsack got a lot of traffic out here for the fourth also another reason y'all I haven't been really uploading a lot I've been so busy between work and I think I said it before but I'm coaching my son's basketball team now too you know high school boys Boy, 
boys basketball team. Well, it's not for the high school, but it's high school age group. Between practice and a few games that we had, which we lost, we had three games. We 0-3 right now, y'all. Let me tell you something. This is the first time I lost being a coach as a basketball, you know, as a basketball coach. From coaching my daughters. When I first coached, my first year of coaching, I went undefeated. When girls who never even played the game. I mean, I had like the majority of the uh, team could not never play the game. Except three girls that I had on the team and they were, they were my big three. But we gonna get it y'all. This team here, we gonna get it. Hopefully. Like my son just last game, he dropped 23. The game before that, I think it was like 18, something like that. Man, I'm like tired of these lights. footage 
the car in front of him is like a pickup truck and they shooting footage of him while he's riding and then somebody comes up damn they got the so the parks are closed for the for fourth of july that don't make any sense so the, how the park's gonna be closed on fourth of july Said he took his mirrors off and um, you can't really see behind you unless you turn your head but how often are you gonna turn your head don't you think it's a hell of a lot easier to just go ahead and be looking straight look down in the mirrors look straight look you know what I'm saying so therefore you still kind of keeping your eye on the road Instead of constantly turning around, constantly turning around. But hey, who am I? I'm not judging. I'm just saying that's not the move I would make. And he and his that's this bike was not no no cheap bike either. MV Agustas is pretty expensive. Probably anywhere between twenty and thirty thousand. Especially the kind he got, I think he got like a, a it's a 2024 at that, so it was brand new. Sorry, I keep getting off a of subject and topic. But another thing is, he said he had on a, just a regular hoodie. It's a dark color hoodie. His helmet said he had his riding pants on, so, but he just had like a regular helm. I mean, regular uh, hoodie on. That's not um, abrasion resistant. So you did see he had road rash on his on both arms. Just wanted to do that real quick. I like. concussion or something so I'm not really 100% sure on all the injuries but yo that Durango we just passed that's a cop that was the one that you just seen swear that came right here that's a that was a cop Another thing is, had he been wearing some high vis, that car might have seen him and didn't just go ahead and just plow right into the back of him. You know what I'm saying, y'all? If anybody, if all my day ones, y'all remember this area over here, this is where I actually learned how to ride my bike. Being right over here is where I learned how to ride. Anyways, how long is this video, man? Long. But I really just wanted to bring you guys along for the journey. 
wish you guys a happy fourth i'm actually when i go home i'm gonna i'm gonna put this video up asap on the fourth about rocking some high vis y'all i think it'll be a lot more safer out here man in these streets i think we might you know i think we're a little bit visible out here and if you don't believe me just remember think about when you just ride along the road and you see somebody along doing lawn or something on the side and he got high vis on or a construction worker and they got high vis on think about how quick you notice that damn person especially when you're driving and the sun is out and that high vis is on that just shows man that high vis be working but anyways man i'ma holla y'all be easy y'all stay safe stay geared up hey happy fourth of july y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe y'all hit me up in the comments